All right, so today, real quick, geometry congruence, all right? This is the common course standard. Not that you guys need to know it, but, you know, no precise definitions, angles, and I put down angle pairs, okay? So that's our common core. Real quick, on a reading, I want to go through it real quickly. For those who didn't see it, you know, there's angle pairs. We're talking about adjacent angles. Two angles are next to each other. They have to share a vertex. Linear pair, two angles that make together a straight line. That's the key, a line, linear pair. Complementary angles, any angles whose sum, sum means to add, any angles that add to 90, two angles, two angles that add to 90. Supplementary, any two angles whose sum is 180. And then vertical angles, we can say that in this case, angle two and angle four are vertical angles, and angle one and angle three are vertical angles, right? They're just, don't call them opposite angles, but they are kind of opposite, and they will always be congruent, all right? Now, let's go into the notes. So, first of all, we've got, from the figure, identify the following angle pairs, okay? So, a linear pair. So, I take a look at this, and there might be more than one combination, but if I take a look and I need a line, then I see a line, a straight line right here, right? And so, angle 5 and angle 4 make the line, don't they? So, as far as a linear pair, I could say, well, how about angle 4 and angle 5? Make a linear pair. I think I see another linear pair. Anybody see another linear pair? Yeah, one and five. See the straight line here? Nice. One and five also make a linear pair. So angle one and angle five. Now you can't you can't say one, two, and three because it has to be angle pairs, right? So don't say angle one, two, and three make a linear pair. Yes, they'd make a straight line, but it's got to be a pair, okay? All right, adjacent. There's lots of adjacent angles. We only need a couple, but adjacent means next to it, okay? So do you see a pair of adjacent angles? Two and three. Yeah, two and three is great. Angle two and angle three. I mean, there's also angle one and angle two, right? There's angle one and angle five. There's angle five and four. And there's three and four, right? All the angles are right next to each other make Adjacent angles. Now, complementary. Now, this is a little bit of a trick question. They make 90, okay, 90 degrees, okay? So, I need two angles to make 90. I see a little box here. There you go. Good. Who said that? Nice job, Kurt. Totally right. So, you got a box here that's 90. That means it's got to be 90 here. Kurt's totally right. The complementary angles are angle 1 and angle 2 because that's got to be 90 degrees right there, right? We don't know the value of 1 or 2, but together we know they're 90. I don't know what they are individually. It could be 40 and 50 degrees. I don't know, but I do know together they make 90, okay? Supplementary. Here's a couple of them up there. What do you think? Five and four. Uh, five and four, absolutely. Angle five and angle four. You're right, Katie. How come you decided that, five and four? Why did you know that? It's a line. Linear pairs, right? Straight line, 180 degrees. You guys, I mean, we know that's 180. What's the other one? We could say one, two, and three, but it's got to be angle pairs, okay? Um, I So we're not going to put that down, but there's one more. What's that? One and five. Yeah, one and five also make the 180. One and angle five. Now, what about vertical angles? Two. Yeah, one and four and two. One and four for sure. Angle one and angle four are my vertical angles, because you can see that one and four that get the two lines, right? There's one and there's four. And then you'd like to say maybe three and five, but you can't because it's not the same line, right? So that's it, one and four. See, two and five won't work, three and five won't work because it's got to be two crossing lines, two intersect, two crossing lines that make the vertical angles, okay? All right, number two, find the complement and the supplement. So let's go back. Complement means they have to add up to 90, okay? And supplement, mean, supplement means they have to add up to 180, okay? So if I've got 38, let's do the complement first. So the complement of this is just going to be 38 plus something has to equal 90, or how about just 90 minus 38? Wouldn't that make its complement? Find the other angle. I mean, there's another imaginary angle kind of right here. Imaginary angle right here that would make 90. So I'm just going to subtract it, right? So if I go 90 
minus my 38, I get an answer of 52. So its complement, its complement is 52 degrees, all right? Its supplement would have to equal 180, right? Supplement 180. So to find its supplement, I'm just going to go 180 minus this 38 degrees, right? And that supplement's over here. So if I subtract 180 from 38, I get 142. So it's complement. The other angle that makes it add to make 90 is 52 degrees. And it's supplement. That's the other angle to make it 180 has to be 42. So the 42 plus 38 makes 180. And my 38 plus 52 makes 90. Okay, now about how about number how about this example? 151 degrees. Complement. It's a trick question. It doesn't have a complement. It's already bigger than 90, right? It's impossible. This does not have a complement. It can't have a complement because we can't do negative angles. We're not going to do negative angles, okay? So none. This has no complement. It's already bigger than 90, right? You can't have two angles that add up to 90. It's too big. But it can have a supplement. So we are for the supplement. We're going to go simply 180 minus 151. I get about 29 degrees. How's that? Easy? All right? Complement, they add up to 90. Supplement, they add up to 180. It's that easy, okay? Nobody said geometry was going to be hard. Remember, I keep telling you it's just taking what we already know and putting rules to what we already know, okay? All right, um, number three. So what do you know? What do you know? Do you know anything? Take a look at that picture. Uh, there's something Yeah, because I see a straight line. You guys see the straight line? So I do know that they are supplementary. Totally great. They are supplementary, okay? And what do we know about supplementary angles? Yeah, they add up to 180. So let's set them equal to 180. Not equal to each other. This is where kids miss problems on tests. Listen carefully. They are not equal. Do they look equal? No. Don't set them equal. We're going to take and add them. We're going to take a 3x plus 8 plus 7x plus 12 equals 180, okay? And hopefully that won't happen on our first quiz, but every now and then somebody will set them equal. They don't look equal, do they? And we're just going to solve, okay? So I'm going to get a 10x plus 20 equals 180, right? Minus 20, minus 20, 10x equals 160. Am I going slowly enough? Divide by 10, x is 16. Okay, x is 16 is not the answer yet because the question says find the measure of each angle. All right, so if x is 16, let's put it in. So I can take my 16 and I'll put my 16 right in here. Okay, so let's go 7 times 16 plus 12. I'm just going to use my calculator. It's just so much easier to use a calculator, guys. Clear, really. 7 times 16 plus 12. Let the calculator do the work. 124. So the first angle is 124. Okay, that's one answer. And now how do I find the other? Two ways. Two ways to find the other answer. One, I can plug in 16. That will work. The other way is I can just subtract. Yeah, Kurt's totally right. The other answer would be 180 minus that 124, right? Because you know they have to add up to 180. That's the easiest way to do it. So I go 180 minus 124, I get about 56, okay? Okay. All right, number four. A lot of you will miss number four on the test, but maybe not. Maybe not. This is the one everybody seems to miss, but not, not you guys, because we're going to look at it, right? So, an angle, measures, an angle measure is three less than twice the measure of its complement. Find the measure of both angles. Now, that sounds like a lot of words, but let's go to the basic. Let's go first to the first thing I know, this word complement. Okay, let's just start right there. Okay, it's a word problem, complement. What do you know about a complement? It's two angles that equal 90 degrees. So, I'm going to have two angles. I'm going to have angle one plus angle two 
half to equal 90. You guys agree with that? So, what do I know? So I know an angle measure is three degrees less than twice the measure of its of its complement. So let's do this. Let's take, we'll have two, we're gonna have twice, twice, we're gonna go two A less than minus three, All right? You with me okay on that one? I've got my twice, that's my two A, less than minus my three. Now that's my first angle. My second angle, we're just going to call A, okay, because we're compared to that. So we've got my first angle plus my second angle, okay, equals 90. So when you do a comparison problem, this is a comparison problem. You get a lot of information, but you're comparing it to this one, right? So this is my first angle in a sense, and this one's compared to it twice as much, minus 3, okay? So you still have your two angles. Okay, now let's solve. Well, that's easy. That's a 2A plus a 1A makes a... 3a minus 3 equals 90, okay? Plus 3 plus 3, 3a equals a 93. Divide by 3, and a is a 31, okay? So that's the first angle, 31. Great. What's the other angle? 31 this, minus 3. Uh, 90. 90. 90. How come 90? Why 90 minus 31? Or you could plug the 31 into here, couldn't you? You could go 2 times 31 minus 3. That would work also, Katie. You could take this and go 2 times 31 minus 3. That would give you the other angle. But I'm just going to go. See that word right there? What's that word right there? I'm just going to do it fast. I'm going to subtract it from 90. What's 90 minus 31? 59 probably, right? There you go. And if you'd plugged that in right here, you would have gotten the same answer. Okay, you guys ready to turn the page? Thumbs up. Are we good? Okay, turn the page. <clears throat> All right. Okay, example five. So here's what I have. I have vertical angles. I do. I have vertical angles. So what I know about vertical angles is this angle is equal to this angle. They have to be. Vertical angles are equal. I mean, it just makes sense. Kind of showed you the whole yardstick thing and meter stick thing, and of course, they have to be equal. So I'm just going to take my 5x, that's first angle, plus 11, set it equal to my 3 times x plus 5, okay? Distribute. So I've got a 5x plus 11, and Kurt said it. We're going to have a 3x plus 15 because I distribute. Good job. And can you see way back there? Minus 3x, minus 3x, 2x plus 11 equals 15. How am I doing? Minus 11, minus 11, 2x equals 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x is 2. But that's not the answer, is it? x equals 2 is not the answer. What's our question? Our question is? Find the value of all four angles. So let's plug, plug the 2 in. So I'm going to plug, take the 2. I'm going to take the 2 and I'm plug the 2 right into here. Okay. So I'm going to go, all right, I'm going to go 5 times 2 plus 11. Let's see, 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 11 is 21, okay? So this is 21, okay? Good. Now, I don't really need to plug the 2 in here. I can if I want to, but these two angles have to be equal, right? I mean, I could plug it in. 2 plus 5, 7 times 3 is 21, but I already knew. I already knew it was 21 because those two angles are equal, okay? Now, what about these other obtuse angles? What about, what about this angle? What about that angle? Yeah, they're supplementary. Kurt's right. So we're just going to find this angle. We're going to go 180 minus 21, right? You guys agree with that? See the straight line, right? So 180 minus 21 is 159 degrees. And how about its other vertical angle? It's the same. Yeah, because they're equal. All right, there we go. So homework today, um, 
two to eight even, 11 to 19 odd, 26, 29, 48, 50, 52, and 54. And 